Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking animated looping background effect using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. So I'm just gonna run with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS, and a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Just press OK. Once we have that, we need to set up a background. So I'm just gonna create a new solid. I'm just gonna label it background. And then I'm just gonna press OK. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the effect called fill. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to color hunt and this is gonna be my color scheme over here. So I'm just gonna choose the darkest color here. I'm just gonna go back to that fill effect and then I'm just gonna paste that color in. So yes, you could have done it straight away from uh, clicking on the solid if you had the color, but this way we can uh, modify it um, a little bit later if we want. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create another solid and we're just gonna call this one waves. And then what we are going to do is we are going to search for the effect called radio waves. So now you can see that uh, the radio waves is already up and that's looking good. We're just gonna change the color straight away. So I'm just gonna choose this color down here and then I'm just gonna go and paste it into here. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna increase the render quality all the way up to 16. I'm gonna go to the polygon settings and I'm just gonna change the sides to three and now I have a triangle which looks pretty cool. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play around with some of these curviness uh, settings. So it's gonna, you know, have a soft edge on one side and I'm just gonna increase the curviness on the other side. So maybe something around uh, 0.250. I think that looks pretty cool. And then what we can do is we can go to the wave motion. So, you know, if you wanna add more uh, waves in there, you can. So I'll probably leave it at something like two. Um, I probably want to uh, increase the velocity. So I'm probably going to bring that up to about five. And so now if we preview that, you can see it goes at a, at a nice rate. Um, I'm also going to change the orientation. So I'm going to put that to about 50. I'm going to just delete this um, or set it back to zero the direction and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to the lifespan and increase that to about 15 and then we get to the real cool fun stuff which is the spin and if you increase the spin like there's so many cool variations that you can do with it so even that looks you know pretty cool but I'm just gonna keep the spin at something um, not too crazy maybe something like 12 where it's a little bit wobbly like that I think that's looking pretty cool so the next thing that we need to do is we need to go into the stroke. So I'm just gonna change the profile to a triangle and I'm also going to change the fade in time to about three and I'm going to change the end width to let's say about 10. So now once we have our main animation uh, happening, then what we can do is we can start to add the effects. So the first effect that we're gonna add is some glow. Now, if you have deep glow here, deep glow works really, really well. But if you don't, glow is just part of the stock standard plugins uh, in After Effects. So we're just gonna go and change the radius. We're gonna bump that up to about 50 and we're just gonna change the intensity to about maybe two or let's say 1.8. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate that, so Command D. And this time we're just gonna bring up the glow radius and we're gonna leave the threshold at 60, but we're gonna drop the glow intensity to let's say one. And so now we have this really cool looking glow that goes onto that animated shape. So that's looking pretty cool. The next thing that we need to do is we need to add some noise on here. So if I go and add some noise, if I untick this, use color noise, and then just slowly increase it, you can see what is actually happening. Now, we don't have to go that crazy, maybe something like even 20%, I think will be all right. And so you can see that kind of effect on there, and that's looking pretty cool. And so now what we can do is we can actually duplicate that. So if I duplicate that, so Command D to duplicate it. Now I'm gonna put this underneath and the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the eye off and I'm just gonna change the color on here. So I'm back into color hunt. I'm using the brightest color over here and I'm just gonna go to this section over here and I'm just gonna turn that on. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around with some of these settings as well. So maybe I'll change the curviness and I'll change the curve size as well. Now you don't want to go too crazy. So in one variation, I have the, um, the duplicate layer inside there. Um, but also in another variation, um, all I did is I just, uh, it, you know, opened up the expansion just like that. And I also just dropped the opacity as well. So now there's two different ways that you can, you know, complete this tutorial if you, if you want. So depending on which way you want to actually do it, totally up to you. But, um, but I'm just going to keep with the first way for now. So I'm just going to keep it inside here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press T for opacity and then just, you know, drag that down a little bit. There's also opacity in here if you want to play around with some of those settings. So you only want a small little bit on the outside. And so I'm pretty happy with that. I don't want too much of, you know, uh, double lines and things like that. So that's pretty cool. The last thing that I did to this is I created an adjustment layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search for the effect noise again. And I'm just going to increase that to about 10. That adds some noise to the entire composition. And that's pretty much it. So, you know, you can change up how you actually complete this tutorial. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching a short tutorial on how to create an animated waves background. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.